Hey, what to do everybody? Welcome back to the world's most average channel. Hope you're having a great day. So today we're gonna to be trying to lower my electric bill a little bit because it has just been through the roof. And we think it's because the solar panels that are up on top of the shop are not at the correct angle. So we're gonna take advantage a little bit. We're gonna be showing you guys the new cat drill today. You guys have probably all seen that reel on Instagram of Stanley the dirt monkey in the cat booth and they're going over this thing. Well, I decided to buy one to let you guys know if it's actually any good because my Milwaukee drill is, uh, it's on the edge of its life. And so because my Milwaukee drill, well, it's getting close to the end of its life and uh, it was time for a new drill. So I went ahead and got one. But I'm not sure what else is gonna be in this video, but hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go ahead and jump into it and let's roll. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. All right, let's bring this thing on over. We got to get it charged up. And of course the power just went out. So it's actually the perfect day to work on the solar, but we're going to fire up the old uh, Arbor Freight tailgater generator over here. We'll get this thing plugged in. So from when I was looking online, there are like two of the 18 volt cat drills. This one's the DX13. This is the one with the graphene battery. Supposedly the graphene battery is supposed to be way better. You guys can see right here that a lithium ion battery typically gets 300 cycles. Graphene, they get 1200 cycles. These have a five year warranty, uh, four times the battery life cycle. I guess they charge three times faster and have two times better power delivery. So we're gonna see how this thing works. I'm actually pretty excited for it. So uh, let's go ahead and get it out of the box. This guy set down right there. Open it up. Ooh, nice cake. Uh, you guys know me. The charger is a little bit on the big side, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Here's the graphene battery. Uh, there's the drill. Looks pretty good. I like how it feels. And there's the extra handle, but let's go ahead and get this started up. Out of the box, these batteries, you guys can see they have the charge indicator right there. Well, they only come with two out of the five bars. So we're gonna go ahead and set it on the charger and uh, see how long it actually takes to charge up. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you guys. This little charger draws quite a bit of juice, especially for this little guy. So we're gonna go ahead and put this in. Get ready for it. I don't know if this little generator can handle this. I might have to plug in a bigger generator. All right, well, it's actually a couple minutes delayed, but you guys can see that we're at 10.08. So I was not able to get an accurate time. We were up on the roof for like a matter of minutes, and then all of a sudden we heard the generator like go back up to its normal RPMs like you can hear right now. I thought to myself, well, the circuit breaker either popped or the battery's finished charging. And well, it finished charging. So I guess we're gonna go ahead and take this thing. All right, so we looked around at like buying the actual upright kits for the solar panels and they were just crazy expensive. So we opted to build our own. We're gonna be using some uh, EMT. We're bending these flanges. We're gonna attach one end to the roof and then the other end to the panel and kick them up just a little bit. This all make a little bit more sense once we go up on the roof and show you guys. So we got a surprise guest. Steve came over to drop off some stuff and uh, we're gonna let him try the drill out as well. All right, we're gonna give the cat its first test run uh, after we get a piece of wood. Oops. Hmm? Well, we are on one on the clutch. We'll go, we'll go to wrist breaking drill setting. <laughs> we are, uh, we are optimized. Oh, you can just switch between the oh, two. Oh, okay. Uh, an yeah. A, B? Yeah. All right. Wah, wah. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you like more? Well, I'll take this to go in there. Ah, that was a nice drill. It's pretty snappy. Pretty snappy. Yeah. Hard to tell. A little early on. Tell. It's, it's heavy. a little bit. It's heavy. She's a heavy girl. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you like them heavy, though, <laughs> then it's the right one for you. Uh, you know, it's all a matter of opinion. Do you want to try it out? Beauty's in the eye of the beer holder. I'm not shaming anybody. No. It's a cat. Yeah. A little bit heavier. 
drilling them right in the middle. Two holes, yeah. Like that. Nice and easy on the drill. This guy's a professional. Bad. Yeah, I haven't even used it yet. I mean, this one, the Milwaukee feels balanced a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that one is heavy. Yeah. The Milwaukee does feel better balanced. I'm curious because I mean, this one has a ginormous battery on it. We're making brackets for the solar out of this nice. one. You want to try the new drill? Yeah. All right, put that piece of wood on the ground. No, that don't do that. Oh. Those will stick in your fingers. Just set it on the ground. All right, grab the drill. It's pretty heavy. Chill right. Chill right. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. Yeah? You wanna try the red one? And tell me which one you like better? Okay. <laughs> Yep, which one do you like more? I think this one. You think that one? More than the caterpillar yeah. one? You do? I don't know why. Why? Because it goes more faster. Yeah, it definitely does go pretty fast. Yeah. All right, we're well, getting pretty close to being done with all the upright pieces. Well, at least for the first row. I think that's all we're going to get done today. So the first one of these that I made, I used the anvil. I basically just hammered it and smashed one in flat. But on the second one, I ended up using the vise, and uh, it's a lot faster, a lot easier. So we're going to end up doing the rest of them on this guy. But as far as these drills go, I'm a little bit torn between the two. I really like this battery. I seriously was blown away at how fast this thing charged this morning. And if all the stats on the box are true, that is an awesome battery. But I think as far as like actually holding the drill and using it, I do think I prefer the Milwaukee a little bit more. So I'm not very nice with my tools. I actually just got done telling my buddy Mike about this Sawzall right here. That thing has been ran over by my dump truck. It's been ran over by a 305.5. It's been left in a bucket of water for over a week. And well, it still works. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Still a beast, so I really like Milwaukee tools, but this drill right here, it is pretty cool. So the real test for this drill is when I take this thing up to the fence and start working on it up there because I do like a lot of like high torque and like I put a lot of pressure on this thing and the drills just get scorching hot. So if it can withstand that, I think it's gonna be an okay drill, but overall it's a pretty good drill. Super impressed with this battery. Um, I would recommend it if you don't have Milwaukee drills already. I have a ton of Milwaukee batteries, so I kind of went out on the ledge buying this thing because this is now the only cat battery that I have. But overall, it's a pretty good drill. If you guys are cat enthusiasts like myself, I'll put a link down below. You guys can go ahead and check it out. But, but I'm going to go ahead and climb up top. We're going to go see how the panels are looking up there. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys the ridiculous amount of goats we have. If I did, I'd go to Bakersfield. Yeah? Oh, yeah, that's where I'd go if I wanted that. All right, so you can see that we made a pretty good dent in it. We got two rows uprighted. We still have three more to go. We got a pretty good system down. So basically what we ended up doing, we made some uprights with the EMT. You guys can see one of them right here. We basically bent one flange, bent the other flange the opposite direction. These have some little bolt holes on the back side. And then there's a beam that runs this way that all of these are attached to. So they ended up being pretty sturdy. They really like don't wobble at all. So overall it turned out pretty good. So we ended up getting home like way past dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take some feet up there and we'll go ahead and show you guys the goats. They are the goofiest looking goats I've ever seen. They're called La Manchas. They don't really have ears. All right, so when we got back the other night from feeding these goats, it was like way dark outside and I couldn't have shown you guys the goats if we wanted to. But we're up here, I'm gonna go ahead and feed them real quick. We got Chaco the Killer Llama over here. Go ahead and get him some food. Good morning, buddy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a little walk on over. It's probably the most white trash thing out here, but you guys can see all the baby goats tucked back in there. They love the square body suburban. So, so far they're all doing pretty good. Now typically we have goats like this, ones that have big floppy ears. And if you guys look at the La Manchas over here, 
they uh they don't have those they just have like these little nubs so i'm not sure what we're gonna do with all these goats because you guys remember this electrical fence that we installed so we could bring the goats over from my in-laws house we haven't even done that yet so we have all these those and we have a bunch more over at their house which i think are going to be coming over here in the next day or two and so it's just going to be like goat extravaganza around here Ooh, you okay Ooh, gotta be careful, bud. All right, so it's taking a lot longer to get all the goats out here than we initially planned on. We are about to be on goat overload. You guys can see we got all the goats right there. We got Chaco in the back. And then we just got back from my in-laws right now where all these goats were. So, oh, shoot, I tied this. Do you want to open it? Okay. All right, don't smash your fingers. Dad, how do you open this? You just slide it like oh. this. Oh, don't put your fingers right there. Over here. Come on, goaties. Wait, hey, go. Wait. Wait, do the act. I'll get me pasta. Is that your goat? Yep. All right. Yes! Woo! Woo! <laughs> 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 Come on, goaties. You know what? Let's keep the pasta and call in and this one out. Yeah, woo! Yeah, what? Yeah! Oh, my! Oh, my! It wants to be a cowboy so bad. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do the official count. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, shoot. Let's see, three, four, five, six, nine. Oh, this is really hard. Let's see if I can get all these ones to come over here. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. I think there's nine. Here. All right, so the official count is in. We have 11 in here. We have 10 over there, three right here. And then we got one, you guys, I don't know if you can see him. He's way over there. We don't like him. We got 25 goats right now. I think that might be a little too much. They're weird, huh? Goofy looking goats, huh? Yeah. What's so weird about them? They say they don't have big eels like coal. Yeah, Most you're right. Goats have big eels. Yeah, Chaco's being kind of a butthead. Yeah, shall we get in fossils? Well, not to go on too much about it, but we're pretty much done for the day. I'm gonna go and head down because I gotta wake up super, super early tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching. Be a huge solid like, subscribe, share this with me. Go hit that notification button down below so you guys can continue to see whatever else we got going on. I'll see you guys next time. Later.